Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 86, 87 Land Rover 90 turbo diesel short wheelbase with power steering. Um, pretty much an unmessed with car really in uh, red with the white roof. Paint's largely original so um, it, uh, it has sort of uh, gone a little flat in a couple of areas but uh, still pretty good. This one's had a new bulkhead on it so you can see the, um, uh, the, the paint on the bulkhead is, is a little bit newer because of that. Anyway, so let's carry on around it. Original wheels. Um, it's got county stickers on it, though it isn't a county. Um, it's got tow pack on it. That's about it, really, in terms of its spec. It's, it's, a, so it's an original one, got at one, this one. Right, let's look, let's uh, take a, a walk around. The only thing it's got on it is a, um, a radiator muff as well. Sort of uh, keeps it a bit warmer in the winter, I guess. Um, Carrying on round, let's look at the bonnet first of all. So the paint's a little bit flat, um, but you know it is to be expected. It is uh, over 20 years old, um, very slightly flat on the bonnet. There's a few of the usual marks and stuff. There's some scratches and marks up here and things like that. It's a Land Rover after all. And a few more round here. Um, presumably it's had a bit of paintwork here on the top of the near side front wing because uh, there's a slight sort of tide mark just there. Um, the edge of the headlamp trim where my finger is, is uh, cracked. Looking down the near side, a um, couple of minor parking dinks in the near side door. Um, that's about it there. Near side front wing is good. Screen on the passenger side is fine as it is on the driver's side. Roof's nice. Some electrolytic reaction on the near side mirror housing here and some just bubbling just there on the, uh, on the door top there and there. Um, and along the bottom edge of the passenger door, just along there, it's bubbling. Um, near side door actually needs, um, the, the latch needs adjustment. It's, uh, it, it holds, but it's not shutting as it should. It should obviously go right into there. So that just needs a little bit of adjustment. I want to do know the passenger window regulator isn't uh, too clever on this one. Um, a couple of times it's uh, when you've wound the window down, it's uh, slipped slightly. So uh, probably needs a new regulator on there. Interior-wise, original basically. Um, easy clean interior. Seats um, have all got rips, well, torn seams as they always do. Seam there, seam there. Middle seat, one seam, driver's seat, edge seam. Uh, in the backrest, they always get those. And the passenger one's got a couple of nicks in the um, in the seat base as well. Um, but the uh, the dash is all quite nice on this one. Door, yeah, bit of rust really, a little bit of rust coming up on the uh, the near side door frame. Um, this side rear wing is good, just the usual marks and stuff. Um, the rear bulkhead, that's not rear bulkhead, the rear cross member is very, very solid, but it does, uh, is showing its age a little bit, perhaps could do with a coat of hammerite or something. Um, that's all nice around there. The tailgate is starting to bubble up on the uh, reaction on the bottom edge, uh, but not badly. And in here, excuse my bag and things. Um, so we've got the bench seats left and right on this one. Um, and it's all uh, rubber lined in the back there. It's also been uh, sort of carpety headlining in it um, as well, which is quite nice. Keep some noise down, I guess. Um, obviously, really mounted spare wheel on this one. Looking down the off sides, pretty straight down there. There's what we got a slight dent just here, just in the uh, offside rear wing panel. And, uh, crack in the offside rear um, rubber arch just there uh, once again ox, uh, uh, electrolytic reaction on the base of the driver's door um, and say this is an original car really um, and the driver's door frame at the base there is, is going a bit rusty um, interior wise on the driver's side well we've been the same as the passenger side really uh, slightly taut tears in the seats and stuff like that um, but you expect it on one of these in fairness. Offside front wing is all good, nothing amiss with it there. That's about it. Oh, there's a, a repaired crack in the offside front uh, um, arch trim. That's about it, really. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 if you've got any issues or queries that you want to discuss with regard to uh, this rather nice original 90 turbo diesel.
and 